Oh. <laughs> okay. Utah, your girlfriend wants to see your face. Good. Good. Right there. That's fine. We haven't fought yet. <laughs> okay. Tenemos un matchup que es con Pikachu Libre y Dibs tiene Dartum. ¿Qué es ese daño? Menos. Fully charged counter peer, uh, counter is going to be that counter. Getting the crit. Getting that defense uh, buff up. Going straight for it. Oh, nice little jab off of that. Dibs trying to find his way in right now. Nice earthquake. Can he get the follow-up? He does. Drags him all the way across the screen. Nice job from Dibs. He looks so sexy when he plays his Garchomp. <laughs> Alright, Mew's going to come out from both competitors. Burst is active right now for Utah. Dibs has to be really careful. Goes for the pizza cutter. Nice job. Goes straight for the grab, but he gets denied. First coming out from Utah, gonna get himself a nice little bit of chip. Dibs tries to get a follow up after that. Is he gonna get pinned? No, he's gonna get the wall splat. 20 HP for Dibs. Oh, so close. Just gets a nice little attack off on him. Tries to go for the late pizza cutter, but the attack's gonna come right out. Utah gonna take round number one in game one. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to si Friday Salty Night Pokin. We really appreciate all of you guys tuning in. Um, this is a round robin match between Dibs and Utah. I'm Skynerd, your commentator. Really appreciate all of you guys tuning in so far. So thanks a lot. All right, big damage coming out from Utah. Goodness gracious, gonna get himself a little bit of a charge. Get that attack buff up. Grab coming out from Utah is gonna knock back Dibs just a little bit more. Oh, gets caught. He does have burst and the crit buff is up. Electroweb just barely fails. Dibs gonna activate his burst, pushing Utah out of that corner. Utah's gonna burst in his own way. Oh, wow, nice cancel coming out from Dibs. Let's try some shenanigans. Oh, and the <laughs> on the refresh frames or exhaust frames come out just a little too soon for Dibs. That count is going to come out, and Utah is going to take game one in this best of three. That free gray ain't looking so free. But Dibs has not played for a while. He's going to go right back into it with Garchomp. <laughs> There's gonna be lots of salt. All right, pizza cover coming out really quickly. Here, nice punch from Utah. Ooh, nice job from Dibs. Gets the grab right away. Can he carry him? He doesn't. That looked punishable. Dibs drops the combo. Gets the grab once again. Gets him into the blender. Big damage. No follow up after that. But he does get Sharknado coming through the air. We're seeing a totally different Dibs this game. All right, Mew's coming out for Utah. Tries to go for the fully charged counter. Sharknado not being able to break through that. That's actually pretty surprising. Wall Spot's going to come out. Doing about half of Dibs' HP here. Burst is coming out from Utah. I thought he already used that. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful pizza cutter coming out from Dibs. He does have the attack buff. Not enough for him to get through that. And nice job from Dibs. Gaining himself back some momentum. Getting himself reacquainted with this game. All right, three seconds left on the clock. Utah looking to go with the Mew support. Very smart option. Nice follow up from Dibs with a homing attack. Tried to bait him out with the grab, and he did with actually the, the fake grab. Nice job, Sharknado, getting him against the wall. 
Half HP for Di for Utah. Another Sharknado against the wall. Twenty less than 25 HP left for Utah. Both players have their burst available. All right, Dibs activating his burst right away. Burst coming out from Utah also. <gasps> nice job from Dibs. He gets the counter and he gets a follow-up burst. Big damage from Dibs. Attack and crit are <laughs> buffs are up for Dibs, and this is going to take game two in this best of uh, in this best of three. Beautiful job from Dibs coming back from that. I love tails. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Utah, being a little scaredy boy. Is he the scaredy boy? He is the scaredy boy. He said, <laughs> as, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't care. He, this is how you know he's not a true Libre me, me, main. Well, a little pansy. <laughs> hey, I was. I. Did you, did you not hear me? Oh. Okay. I was about to say I'm backing you up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this cold? Oh, okay. That, that's why I felt odd. <laughs> mm. All right, so Utah chickens out and decides to go uh, Gardevoir instead of sticking to Libre because he is a fear of losing. <laughs> nah, he can switch. That's totally fine. No worries. All right, we are on to game three. This is going to be match point uh, coming up after whoever wins the first round. <laughs> Nice job from Dibs. He's just going to get a little bit of attack coming out. Pizza Cutter's going to knock Utah back. Can he get the proper? Tries to go for the grab. Not the right option he wanted to follow, but beautiful little knock-up coming out from Dibs. Oh, didn't get the grab release in time. Nice combo coming out from Utah. Nice Pizza Cutter once again. He's got Utah in quite a predicament. Nice follow up, gets the vulnerable frames and puts them in the blender. He says, I'm making me a lettuce, <laughs> lettuce smoothie. Tries to go for a double Sharknado. Not going to work out for him. Beautiful job from Utah. He's going to get himself a little bit more health back and keep up the projectile pressure. Dibs having a rough time finding his way in right now. Ooh, tries to go for the pizza cutter, gets punished by the grab. Both players in a similar spot right now. Nice follow-up from Dibs. Does he get the follow-up? He misses just barely. Tries to go for another Sharknado. Oh, in the future, Sight's going to take that. All right, this is match point for Utah. Dibs has to be really careful about how he approaches. Look for those proper moments. Nice job. Just getting off a little attack here and there. Gaining himself some momentum onto the board. Double <laughs> in the face. Gets a beautiful counter pierce from that homing Sharknado. Gets him against the wall into Blender. What is this? This man says he's never play, he hasn't played Pokemon in three months. That's a lie. Double Sharknado might have been the wrong option there. Nice job from Utah. He's just going to pin him up against the wall. Get some chip damage off. Burst is available for Dibs, but he did just get hit. Muse coming out right away. He does decide to dig underneath the ground. Jump X gonna do a, a nice, pretty amount of damage. Beautiful follow up from Dibs. He tries to go right into the Shredder, but it's not gonna work out for him like he wants. Umbreon's gonna come out, push him back just a little bit. He has to be careful. <sighs> nice Sharknado. Tries to go for the follow up with a weak attack. The grab is gonna come out. It's gonna do big damage, almost taking. Dibs life. He does have his burst. Dibs in a really tough position. 18 seconds left on the clock. This is going to do big damage. Dibs just sits there and takes it. He kind of has to. <gasps> does Dibs get the punish? He doesn't. Oh, this might be the game. 30 HP left. Oh, the counter. He gets the Stone Edge with 6 HP left. Dibs bringing this back by the clutch of the chair on his and the hair on his chin. Oh my gosh! Welcome, Frozen Mallet. I love Tails. Uh, 
Thank you guys so much for tuning into the stream tonight. I'm Skyner, your commentator for Friday Salty Night Pokken. Wingtide, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for tuning in. Nice grab coming out from Utah. Kind of a bit of a stretch there. Sharknado coming out. Barrier's going to push Dibs back just a little bit. Ooh, tries to go for another attack. That is going to hurt a lot. Miu support coming out. Pizza Cutter is going to do a nice little chunk of damage. Crits all around right now. Beautiful jump back from Dibs. He tries to go in and punish the Umbreon. He just barely got the last hit there, but no follow-up afterwards. Utah doing a phenomenal job of keeping up the pressure. Dibs at about 25% health left. Tries to go for some sort of option there. Just barely whips it out here. Utah in a commanding position right now. He might just get the game. 12 HP left for Dibs. Pizza Cutter coming out. Not enough. Utah's going to take that 2-1 over Dibs. Very, very.